New tonight at 530 in a little more than an hour. The House of Representatives is scheduled to vote on a motion to send the Senate passed tax reform bill to conference. Now it is the next step in the congressional incubator for the so-called Tax Cuts and Jobs Act before it reaches the president's desk to be signed. General 2's Dave McKinley spoke to our Western New York representatives today heading into tonight's vote. These guys may be standing shoulder to shoulder here, but when it comes to tax reform, it seems these two congressmen could not be farther apart. To hear the Republican tell it. Our tax reform bill is going to be great for 99% of Western New Yorkers. While the Democrat insists. I think it's fraud being perpetrated against uh, middle America. Their respective rhetoric aside, it is true that the two versions of the bill, one passed in the House, the other in the Senate, will eventually have to contain the same language and thus have to be reconciled in the conference committee. So we asked the two congressmen from opposite sides of the aisle predict for us what's going to stay and what's going to go. We're 90 percent the same right now. I believe you're going to see more of the Senate in less of the House. Primarily the Senate's proposal to delay for a bit a big cut in the corporate tax rate. So the Senate version delaying the corporate rate one year I believe will happen. As this is reconciled in the conference committee, uh, do you see anything staying or going of particular notes? Well, at this point, I mean, the preservation of the deduction for state and local taxes is very important for a place like New York. Primarily because it has among the highest such taxes of any state in the nation. And although both bills provide that you could at least deduct up to $10,000 of your property taxes, which would cover the majority of Western New Yorkers, Higgins doesn't seem to be counting on that. So we won't know what survives or what, uh, what is taken out uh, in the end. Meanwhile, in Albany, we are looking at the legality now. Governor Cuomo today confirmed that he may once again, as he's already done over a host of Trump administration initiatives ranging from immigration and regulatory reform, try to file another lawsuit to stop tax reform. So it may very well be illegal and unconstitutional, and that's something we're looking at. Governor Cuomo made those comments during a conference call this afternoon with California Governor Jerry Brown and New Jersey's Governor-elect Phil Murphy, both Democrats and, like Cuomo, hailing from states with high local and state taxes. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.